All right. So everyone can hear me, that's good. So, so your big post today is Tidi Pasana, Rupa Tidi Pasana. So do what you can. Options will be given. So um, if you need a block, so set up a block beside you. Otherwise, you just need your yoga mat. All right. So you're going to start off uh, in a sitting position of your choice. Otherwise, you can follow me in uh, Ara Shirasana. Hands into your Chi Mudra. And close your eyes. When you're ready, we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths just to settle our body and mind down. So we'll take a time to breathe. In an exhale, turn nose, sitting tall. Just allow your legs heavy down onto your mat and your spine reach up towards the crown. Stay here for five more breaths. Observe your breathing. Three more deep breaths. One more breath. As you inhale, gently open your eyes and gaze forward. So you can start off with your pranayama. Two rounds of Gabbabati, each round is for a minute. So work at your own pace. So you remain your hands in Chimudra. So you just focus on to exhalation and your inhalation is actually passive. Yeah, let's begin. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. So as you exhale, contract your abdominals and begin. So just focus on the exhalation. When you exhale, contract your abdominals. 30 more seconds on your Kabbabati. Fifteen seconds. Exhale fully. Bring a chin down. Lock your abdominal nose and lock up your pelvic floor, mula banda. Hold the breath here as long as you can. Just to release your mula banda, release your abdominal and raise the chin up. So we inhale. Exhale. One more round of Kabapati. Inhale. And begin your last round. So you warm up your body with Kabapati. 45 more seconds. Thirty more seconds. Just focus on the exhalation. Fifteen. Exhale fully. Bring your chin down. Lock your abdominal nose and lock your pelvic floor. Hold the breath as long as you can. Then we release your pelvic floor, release your abdominal and lift the chin up. And so we inhale and exhale. So as you inhale, open your eyes and gaze forward. So from here, we're going to um, work onto our joints, warm up our joints. So from a mat, spread your legs out to the front. Sitting tall, start off with your uh, ankles and your wrists. So from your arms to the front, rotate your ankles and your wrists outwards. So you're going to rotate uh, your wrists and your ankles out together. 
slowly warm up your wrists and your ankles. Two more times, breathe at your own pace. And change, rotate inwards. So the wrists and the ankles change direction, rotate inwards. Sitting tall and breathe at your own pace. One more time and release. Okay, so from here, slowly bend your right knee in front and your left leg goes behind. Yeah, so from an inhale, left arm up. As you exhale, side bend, right side. Side bending. So remain your chest facing forward. Stay here for four breath. So slowly warm up your spine. Space out the side of your ribcage. Three more breath. So you can come down a bit lower so long as your knees are still on the ground. One more deep breath. Fully extend your left elbow. And in up slowly, take a time. Ch change sides. Okay. And just make sure both sitting bones are grounded. Okay. And from here, inhale. Your right arm as you exhale, side bend towards the other side. Stay here. If your knees are still on the ground, you can come down lower. Make sure you feel comfortable onto your knees. Stay here for four breath. Feel a very nice stretch on your right side body. Last three. Keep breathing. And so in up and release. Cross your legs coming down onto your four. Okay, so stay where you are. I'm just standing in front of my mat. Your cat cow stretch. So from here, show the wrist and keep to the knee. Your spine in neutral. Then from an inhale, reach right behind. As your spine, look from the upper ceiling. As you exhale, round the back, bring your knee towards your chin. In a stretch back. And exhale. Last two, inhale. Full extend, right hip. And exhale, round the back. Knee towards your nose. Last one, inhale. Exhale, so you bring your right knee towards your forehead. And inhale, release. Then turn your body towards right side of a long mat. So adjust your left hand in line with your left knee. So you're gonna turn your side body aside, catch your right ankle. Yeah, then from a kick a little way behind and extend your spine and also extend your right hip. So stay here for four breath. Nice, keep breathing. Stay there for two more deep breath. All right. Inhale. X release, lower down, back onto your four, chain sides. In your left leg, extend behind, extend your spine, look from the ceiling. As you exhale, round the back, bring your knee towards your chin. Three more, inhale, move with the breath, and exhale. Last two, which are breathing. Exhale, left knee towards your nose. And one more inhale. And exhale, left knee towards your forehead. And you then down. So turn your body towards the left side of a long mat. Adjust right hand in line with your right knee. And from here, catch your left ankle with the left hand. So you kick away. Expand your spine, feel stretch onto the left hip. Stay here for three more breaths. Last two. And X release coming down slowly. Okay. 
Okay. Hamstring stretch, rally forward on your right heel. So stay here once you feel on the hamstring. Otherwise, you can slowly bring your body down closer towards the mat, but keep right knee straight or elbows all the way down into your heart split. Ardha Hanumasana, stay here for four breath. Feel stretch onto the whole entire of your back right leg. And breathe. Two more deep breath. So remain your hips level. One more breath. And in absolutely, actually release right knee down, change left foot on the heel. Stay here once I feel a lot. Otherwise, exhale, coming down lower. Keep your left knee straight, no matter how low you go. Stay here for four breath. Three more breath in your heart split. Last two. And in up slowly, exhale, left knee down. Okay, and so you're coming up onto your knees. So make sure your knees are comfortable, yeah? So this is a little bit um, challenging. So from here, you sit on the heels first, yeah? So lace our fingers from here in the coming up. Raise the hip away from your heels. And exhale, lean back, feet down. And so you bring your body forward into your balasana. Okay, then in up again, slowly land your knees down the mat softly, your spine going up, exhale spine, take your time, nice, exhale slowly, weight back, heels down, malasana, feel the tension on the inner thighs, two more, inhale, careful of your knees, nice, extend a little bit deeper on the spine, then exhale, contract your abdominals and slowly bow forward. Last one, inhale, move with the breath. Nicely done. And exhale. Release your hands, walk to the front. Inhale, slowly coming into plank. Then exhale, push your hip back to your Downward facing dog. Stay here for four breath. So take your time to ground your heels onto your mat. Keep it in the arms, two more deep breath. As you inhale, raise your heels, your feet walk to the front side by step, or if you're right, float to the front between the hands. Then in the up, come into standing. Exhale, palms towards your heart. Yeah, so you can do two rounds of uh, Surya Mascara. Follow me slowly. <clears throat> so from the Samastiri, inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, slowly bend forward from your hips, coming down straight to the floor. In your flat back, walk back or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Stay here for four breath. Push your hip back. So you shift your weight onto the heels. Two more deep breath. As you inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, your feet flow to the front to flat back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, palms together and stand up. Exhale, hands by the side. One more round. Inhale, Prabhasasana. Exhale, exhale, bow down to Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, walk back or jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Rukvamukhasanasana. And exhale, Ardha Mukhasanasana. Stay here for four breaths. So reach your hip behind and up the ceiling. Three more breaths, Ujjayi breathing. Hip between the arms, last two. And so in here is a huge flow to the front to flat back. As you exhale, bend forward, Uttanasana. 
in a palm together coming up, Purvahasasana, and exhale, Samastiti. So in Samastiti, close your eyes, stay here for four breaths. Find your balance. Three more breaths. Okay. As you inhale, open your eyes and gaze forward. So from here, inhale, arms up the ceiling. You can stay here or lean more back. Stay here for four breaths. So extend the spine. So stay strong until your legs. Your hands can be away or together. Make sure you feel comfortable on your shoulders. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. In up slowly. Exhale, arms goes behind. Clap your hands in a stretch away. Exhale slowly, bring your body down towards your straight legs. Looking behind. And stay here for four breaths. In your Baddha Hasta Uttanasana, hands bound, standing for a pen. Stay here for three. Switch stack your hip on top, knees and ankles. One more breath. As you exhale, bend your knees, your hands lower down on the side of your feet. Walk back or jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, elbow facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. And from an inhale, right up the ceiling. Stay here for four breaths. So keep your hips same level. So push your hip back and two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale, lean forward. <clears throat> right foot outside, right hand, left knee down. Okay. Then from here, lift your spine up, your arms are standing behind as you inhale, stretch your way. As you exhale, slowly bow forward. So make sure he doesn't move, just your spine coming down. Or if you're all right, bring your top head on the floor. So the hip remain facing behind. And your spine is facing forward. Stay here for four breaths. In your Shisha Augusta Yogasana. Stay here for three. Nice. Feel tension onto the inner right hip. And two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. In up slowly. Exhale, hands lower down. Adjust the right foot slightly in the middle mat. Then your left knee. Extend as far as you can behind. Okay, either toe tie or toe point. Then from here, you uh, hook the fingers, yeah? Your right palm facing forward, left palm facing behind. So hook at the fingers and in coming up into Anjanasana. So you're trying to uh, pull your hands apart. Okay, so hook at the fingers, right palm facing forward, left palm facing behind. So you start to feel the stretch on your shoulders. Stay here for three more breaths. So your elbows are bent um, 90 degree. With the chest and hip facing forward. Two more breaths. Feel the stretch on the whole left side of the body. Inhale. And exhale. And up slowly, exhale, hands coming down. So push your hip back slowly. Right toes turn in 45 and then adjust your belly straight and turn your body towards the left side of a long mat. And coming down onto your half squat, right side. Okay, so I face you can see me. So keep your left knee and your left toes pacing up the ceiling, right knee bend. All right, so from here, so stay high on a twist or you can bring your elbow down. <clears throat> Reach right hand to the ceiling and stay here for four breaths. So make sure your left knee are uh, still straight. Feel the stretch on the inner left hip. 
I was option, stay high one. Stay here for three more breaths. Take your time to stretch up your hips. Nice. Spine long. So slowly bring your right heel down on the floor. Nice. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, release and lower down. Slowly lift your left hip up and turn your body forward, hands down. Right foot step back to your down facing dog. Catch your breath. Then chain sides. Inhale, left leg up the ceiling. Stay here for four breaths in your three leg down facing dog. Take your time to breathe. Keep your hips in level. Two more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, left foot, step to the front, outside of the left hand, right knee lower down. So front leg knee to the ankle, belly hip to the knee. And as you come up, inhale, roll just behind, clap your hands, stretch your way. As you exhale, slowly flex the spine, or around the back coming down towards the floor. Make sure the hips doesn't move. And stay here for full breath. Shisha Augusta Yoganasana. Head to toe pose. Stay here for three more breath. This time feel the tension onto your inner left hip and a hamstring. And breathe two more breath. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. So inhale up slowly, take a time to rush. Hands on the floor, adjust the left foot in the middle. Then right leg stretch back as far as you can on your knee, toes touch or toe point. You're coming into Anjanasana, your low lunge. So in coming up, so left palm facing forward, right palm facing behind, hook at the fingers. So you pull apart, elbows are bent, and reach out as far as you can. Stay here for four breath. Make sure your chest and keep facing forward and breathe. This time feel stretch on your whole right side of your body. Stay here for three. Keep the neck long. Last two. One more breath. As you inhale, come up slowly. As your hands come in support. So push your hip back, left toes to in 45. Then so you turn your body towards the right side of a long mat. Then slowly sit onto your left leg. Squat, right leg straight. So right leg, knee, and toes facing the ceiling. So go for a high twist. If you're all right, onto your inner thigh, right foot arm down. You can support your hand onto left knee, or you can twist more as you exhale, left hand reaching the ceiling. Feel intense stretch onto your inner right thigh. Stay here for four breaths. So try your best to get your left heel down on the floor. Nice, and three more breath. Last two, keep breathing, nice. One more breath. Inhale, and exhale, release. Slowly raise the hip up and turn your body to the front. So from here, slowly step back to your down facing dog. Stay here for four breath, push your hip back, release the tension from my hips. One more breath. As you inhale, raise the heels. 
you're going to jump to sitting down with the legs wide open or you can slowly uh, jump uh, with your feet on the floor yeah so take a time raise the heels and oh jump through okay <laughs> nice one slowly yeah all right we're going to go into kromasana so some preparation before we go for Didi Basana. So just, uh, I'm going to face to the front to you so you can see me. So from here, your legs don't have to be too wide, maybe about three feet away. Then option, your arms just go forward. All right, but keep your knees straight. Or you can raise your uh, knees up. So you bring your arm one by one on the of your thigh. And slowly slide away and come down slowly. Yeah, you can keep the knees bent, otherwise fully extend the knees and all the way down. So you stay here a bit longer, yeah? So option, your arms can be in front, reaching out in your Upavisha Kurasana. If you're all right, your arms underneath in your Kurasana. Okay, so stretch up your um, hamstring slowly. Stay here for six breaths, a bit longer, yeah? So take your time. So if your arms are underneath of your legs, make sure you feel comfortable onto the elbows and breathe. Nice, feel the stretch on the hamstring. Perfect. Keep it there for four more breaths. So make sure your knees and toes facing up to the ceiling. Stay there for three more breaths. Last two. And as you in slowly, slide your leg up. Be careful. Release one arm at a time. And spine upright. So from here, bend your knees. So we inhale onto your feet. Knees straight. And as you exhale, bend forward. Send it forward, bend. Stay here for four breaths. Stretch up the hamstring. So stack your hip on top of your knees and the ankles. Prepare the hamstring. Two more breaths. And as you inhale, slowly lift your spine and your arms up the ceiling. Exhale, palms towards your heart. Nice. Okay. So the uh, third uh, sequence, a little bit uh, intense. You ready? So from here, inhale, arms up the ceiling, either your palms away or together, and reach out. So make sure the whole spine participate on the extension and stay strong on your legs. Stay here for three. Take a time to fully extend your elbows. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And in up slowly. As you exhale, your arms extend behind. Claps your hands in a stretch away. As you exhale, slowly bend forward. Coming down to your straight legs. Okay. So you start to feel your body is leaning more forward. Stay here for four breaths. Prepare your arms. Last three. Looking behind and keep the neck long. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. All right. And slowly release bend knees and hands coming down. You can slowly uh, walk back or jump back to Chaturanga. Take a time. And in up upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. All right. In here, right up the ceiling. So you can stay here, easy option, your hands don't move. Or you can move a left hand closer towards the left foot, stay on the floor. 
or the left hand catches your left leg. But make sure your left heel is on the ground if you're catching onto the left ankle. I want your hands is on the floor. And stay here for four breaths in your two leg down facing dog. Or repeat your hands in front, don't move. Fully engage your core muscles. Stay here for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Left and front. Right foot step forward outside of right hand. Back foot uh, either heel raise or heel down. So this time your belly knee is straight. You're going to bring the forehead down, yeah? So from an inhale, coming up, so your arm circle around the back. Clap your hands, stretch your way. Take your time. As you exhale slowly, bring your body forward. You can stay halfway or a bit lower or all the way down. So if you bring your head down the floor, make sure your head is in line with your right foot. Hip remain facing behind. Into your full. Shisha Augusta Yogasana, head to two pose. Stay here for three more breaths. So more tension onto the right leg and pretty strong the back leg, yeah? So make sure you kick into the heel or press the heel down the mat. Stabilize the whole entire body. Stay there for two more breaths. Nice. <clears throat> One more deep breath. As you inhale, slowly lift the spine. Exhale, hands lower down, support. Right foot adjust in the middle mat. Okay, adjust your back foot. You're coming into your warrior one. So either heel raise or heel down the back foot. So in your coming up your arms. So right hand face forward, left palm face behind. Hook at the fingers. So the elbows are bent like this. Then slowly extend as far as you can. Make sure your lower back feeling very comfortable. So front leg, try our best to tie the tie, the floor. Stay here for three more breaths. Hips facing forward. Last two, breathe. Inhale. And exhale, in and up slowly, take a time to rush. As you exhale, hands coming down, slowly left knee down, and turn your right knee down. Half frog pose, yeah? So you can fold up, uh, this is the back view, you can fold taker for your knee. So your inner part of right knee on the floor, right toes facing sideways. Your left leg adjust straight. You can go further away, yeah. So this is the back view. So this is the front view. So stay here, support with both hands. Otherwise, you're up. Left arm down, if you're okay. Right hand up the ceiling. So basically, your hip is hanging. So you keep your uh, left heel almost in line with your right knee. Yeah, half frog pose. So stay here for full breath. Half frog pose with uh, a twist. Stay here for three more breath. So feel the intense stretch onto your inner thigh, the right side, and your hamstring, yeah, the left leg. Nice. So remain your left leg, knee, and toes facing up the ceiling. Yeah, option, just keep both hands on the floor. Nice. I hope you enjoyed the stretch. One more breath. Okay. Inhale. And exhale down slowly. Be careful. So body in the middle. Release the leg first. Okay, knee down. So you turn on the front. Take a tunnel rush. Okay. Then when you're ready, step back to down facing dog. Long spine, 
and change leg. Inhale, left leg up to the ceiling, stay here, be both hands in front. Otherwise, walk right hand towards right foot on the floor. So you find very stable, only right hand catches your right ankle. And you're looking behind in your two leg down facing dog. Keep both hips same level. And get your core fully. Nice. Keep breathing. So watch out your hip. Be careful the left hip don't turn out. And rotate. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand in the front, left foot. Sorry, uh, can you see me? Yeah, but I don't think I can see you guys. Just hang on a second, yeah. Um, there's some wrong, something wrong with the connection. Hi. Can you hear me? Um, hang on, everybody, yeah? Okay, so sorry about that. Uh... Okay, um, some connection problem. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So sorry about that. Uh, we were very well. We we were here, right? All right. So so coming up and adjust your left foot in the middle. Then so coming up. So left hand facing forward, right facing behind. 
So either the heel raise or back heel down, slowly coming up onto your arm. Warrior one. So this is the back view. So make sure you uh, hold your fingers nicely and you try to pull apart. You start to feel your chest um, opening. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, stretch for your uh, chest and your shoulders. So stay here for four breaths. Breathe strong onto your legs. Nice and breathe. So make sure your spine is actually on top of the pelvis. Yeah? Be careful the pelvis don't go in front of your uh, hip. Be careful it don't go like this. So lean back. Yeah, one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. So coming up, exhale, release, hands coming down. Slowly, half a pose. So you can bring your right knee down first and bring your inner left knee on the ground. So keep your left knee and ankle one line. So toes facing up, right leg straight with the knee and toes facing on the ceiling. So stay here once you feel a lot. Uh, walk the hands towards your left leg. All right, forearm down. You can go further away, your right leg. And you can feel a stretch. And if you're all right, twist left hand to the ceiling. Stay here for four breath. So be careful. Please hug in your legs while you try to split your leg apart. Nice. And stay here for three more breaths. Yep. Continue. Either stay with the chest facing down. If you're all right, go for a twist. Nice. Can you feel the stretch? Last two. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, release slowly, be careful, don't rush. Slowly release our right leg, slide in. And so you turn your body front, and just a footing, and step back to now facing the, take a rest onto your hips. One more breath in your down facing dog. Then from an inhale, raise a huge look to the front, float to the front to flat back. Exhale, send it forward, bend, forward breath. So you can uh, notice you can actually bend more forward, get it more flexible on the hamstring. Inhale and exhale. So we're going to go uh, a little bit uh, deeper, yeah? So from here, right? This time we're sitting down. Now be standing, yeah? So from the front view, space of feet apart, you're gonna bring your body inside of the legs, yeah? So either you can keep like this, hands on the floor, or you bend your knees, bring your right shoulder any of a time, one at a time, okay? And hold your back, stay here with knees bent. If you can go arm more inside, then you hold the fingers with the knees straight, or with the knees bent. Otherwise, slowly widen your feet and straighten the knees. So now you're standing, yeah? You're standing Didi Basana. Yeah, so either hands on the floor, reaching behind. Otherwise, you can slowly bring your hands onto your back one time. So move the body as in as you can. You can hold the fingers or just hold onto your back. If you're all right, slowly straighten your knees and look back. Okay, slowly. Stay a bit longer over here, yeah? Stay here for like six breaths. Okay, nice. Feel stretch onto your hamstring. Yeah, take your time. You can use a cloth to uh, actually grab uh, with it uh, to reach your hands closer. Okay, you can use a cloth or you have a strap.
Yeah, so slide your whole body inside of your thighs and reach your hands behind your back. All right, take your time. Nice, slowly. And then let go of the head looking behind. Stay there for four more breaths. Careful. Rest if you need to. Yeah, a little bit longer staying here. Three more breaths. So we're coming into Didi Basana very soon. Inhale. And ex really slowly. Your hands coming down. Feet together. Take a rest. Yeah. And we're ready, in, you're coming up. As your spine and your arms. As you exhale, palms towards your heart. And back to Samastiri. Okay. So the third sequence, yeah, a little bit more intense. Are you ready? So from an inhale, palms together and reach up, extend your spine. Watch your lower back. Stay here for four breaths. So make sure you can feel your big toes are stepping down onto your mat. Stay here for three. Nice. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. Right in up slowly as you exhale, slowly bring your arms behind, collapse your hands and stretch your way. So, last uh, standing for a bend with the arms bind around the back with the legs straight. Stay here for four breath. So, make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. So, looking straight behind and keep the neck long. Three more breath. So she moved towards her toes. Last two. As you exhale, so you bend your knees, your hands low down. Your last chaturanga. Try to float back to chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, urva mukha swanasana. Exhale, adho mukha swanasana. Right, so from here, inhale, rally up the ceiling. You can stay here, don't move. Or this time, right hand, walk towards your left leg. Or catch your left ankle with right hand. So option, your hands don't move. Just stay in your normal twin down facing dog. Otherwise, you go for your Two lead down facing dog, right hand catching onto your left leg. So a little bit preparation onto your arm strength and your uh, core uh, engagement because we are moving into Didi Pasana very soon. Stay here for three more breaths. Yeah, looking behind. Nice. Okay, keep breathing. One more deep breath. Inhale, exhale, right hand in front, step your right foot outside right hand, <clears throat> and you can lower the left knee down, yeah? I always keep the left knee straight. You're going to bring the head underneath of the right leg, okay? So either you hold your right foot with both hands and bring your forehead close towards your right leg, the ankle. Arms from here, you can raise the belly heel. I so should bring your head down underneath. Oh, and thread it through underneath of your right thigh. Stay here or left hand out. Adjust right hand up to the ceiling. Yeah, so be careful of your neck. So, option left knee down, both hands hold right foot, and just bring your forehead down towards your right ankle. Or you can keep a knee down. Head go underneath and stay here. Otherwise, knee straight. Yeah. Stay here for 
Full breath. Yeah, pretty intense onto your hamstring, yeah, the right side. So be careful of a neck. All right, nice. Last three. So make sure your front leg, the knee, doesn't surpass the toes. Stay exactly on top of the ankle. And keep it there for two more breaths. Okay, so deflection of spine. One more breath. Inhale. Extend the hand down. Release it slowly, be careful. Adjust. Right foot in the middle, left foot step in a little bit closer. Three feet distance from each other, right foot and left foot. This time keep both knees straight. So in you coming up. Hang on, yeah. Coming up. So from here, right hand face forward, left palm face behind. Hold the fingers. You can step closer a bit, yeah, if it's hard to balance. So your spine on top pelvis, in extend, stay here. Oh, lean more back. So you're trying to pull the hands apart. Okay, stay here for four breaths. So reverse the spine and make sure you can breathe nicely. Nice, stay here for three more breaths. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. In up slowly, exhale. Let's finish up the left side and then we go for a full bekasana, yeah? So hands coming down. Right foot step back. To your down facing dog. Catch your breath. Then we're ready. Inhale, left up the ceiling. Stay here. Two hands on the floor. Otherwise, your left hand walk closer towards your right foot. Stay on the floor. Then, when you're steady, left hand, you can actually catch onto your right leg. Okay? Find a balance. Stay here for four breaths in your two leg down facing dog. One sided. So, pretty intense onto your arm, your arm strength, yeah? And please engage your core 100%. Nice and breathe. Three more breaths. Good. Last two. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, hands coming down. Left foot step outside of the left hand. Okay, let me change my direction, you can see me. So from here, either knee down, grab your ankle, left hand underneath, right hand in front, and just bring your forehead down close towards your left ankle. Or adjust, head underneath of your left leg. Uh, with the hip raise, it's easier, the knee up. So you bring it down. Be careful neck, stay here, support. Unless you balance, left hand up the ceiling. Yeah. So pretty intense onto your um, left hamstring, yeah? So watch out. Stay here for four breaths. Nice. Keep breathing. Take your time. Two more deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. In release slowly. Be careful your head. Come in to the front. Adjust your left in the middle mat. Step in, three feet distance or two and a half. And really in coming up. Okay. Adjust. So left palm face forward, right palm face behind. Hook at the fingers. So adjust the spine of pelvis. When ready, in extend the spine, stay here or extend more. So this is a back view. Make sure you find balance onto both legs as you extend the spine. Stay here for four breath. Nice.
Two more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, slowly coming down. Hands down, step back. Catch your breath and down facing dog. Then from your lower your knees down to the mat. So you're gonna to face towards the long side of the mat. We're gonna do uh, the full bekasana, yeah. So breathe intense onto your uh, inner thighs, the adductors. So if you take mat, that's fine. Otherwise, you can fully take the curve for your knees. So this is the front view. So now both legs knee bend, 90 degree angle, and you start to walk your knees away from each other as far as you can. So toes are turning out. So stay here once you feel a lot. Okay. If you're all right for arm down, you can just walk the hands towards your right leg and stay here. Otherwise, for arm down, in your bekasana, twist. So make sure your hips in line with your knees. Yeah, one straight line. Uh, don't go too low. If you start to feel a uh, rediscomfort on the hips, yeah, stay here for like six breaths. Yeah, try to move your knees out as far as you can in your bekasana. Be careful, knees. Yeah, option, you can just walk the forearms towards your right side. Okay, just take this. Unless you're steady, turn. Stay here for two more breaths. So, so push your hip behind some more, can feel more on inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale down slowly. All right, try to stay there. <clears throat> Going to change sides, yeah? Adjust if you need to. So either forearm down, walk your forearm towards your left side. Otherwise, just a left forearm down. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, twist. Right hand to the ceiling. Yeah, one side may be a bit difficult, so be careful. Stay here for four. Three more breath. Keep breathing. Nice. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. All right, inhale down slowly. As you're coming up, be careful. Lean forward your hip. As you walk the knees in. Turn back to the front of the mat. All right, I give you a bonus. Let's go to child pose for a while, okay? One bonus for you, a child pose. Take a rest on the hips. Child pose. Stay here for full breath. Two more deep breath. Release our hips. Inhale. And exhale. All right, in coming up, arms in front, toe toes, exhale. Adho Mukha Chansana, stay here for full breath. We come into Didi Basana, two more breath. As you in, raise your heels, your feet jump outside of the hands. Okay, and then from here slowly, you bring your body again on any of your um, legs. Yeah, one by one, bring it down. Okay, so your hands uh, go on any of your feet one by one. And see the arms. You can stay here, cross your legs. Always you're going into your Urva Tidibasana. Okay. Or you can just go for your normal Tidibasana. If you go upwards, uh, it's a bit intense. So otherwise you just go parallel. All right, parallel. So option, don't worry. 
option, you can just go for one leg. This is front view. Go for one leg. So bring your thigh on top of the shoulder. One leg, Didipasana. Okay. So take a time to slide your body in between your legs as in as you can. Yeah. And set our hands on our feet. Elbows bent, sitting on the arms, easy one. Just keep your knees bent. Legs straight, parallel floor, or you go upwards. Okay, so stay here for six breaths. Is it possible? Okay, do whatever you can. Nice. Okay, yes, it'll be intense. Four. Three more breaths. Oh dear, it's a bit tiring there, right? So while counting, you can actually come down and then uh, repeat again, okay? Yeah, can you repeat again? So really slide your body in between your uh, thighs. You need that, yeah? Otherwise, it's um, very hard to lift your body up as in as you can, right? And strong legs, strong arms, squeeze your core. And so you come down. All right. Are you okay there? So in case your wrist, you may feel a little bit of discomfort. Um, you don't understand anymore. So from here, just take a seat. Your wrist in case. Rotate your wrist outwards. Yeah, let go tension from your wrist. So um, Didi Basana requires a lot of uh, hamstring flexibility. So today, the sequence uh, really help you uh, into open hamstring, yeah? So turn your wrist inwards. Let go tension from your wrist. Okay. So um, we did a lot of uh, for bending, yeah? We're going to reverse it, okay? A very easy one, tabletop. So from here, just keep your feet uh, as wide as your hips. Then your hands behind, either the fingers is turning out or pointing towards your hips. Yeah. Then we really in slowly push your chest up to the ceiling with the shoulders roll behind. Then we exhale, raise the hip up into your half reverse tabletop. Other Purvodasana, stay here for four breath. Keep breathing. So chest up. Try your best to bring your shoulders, hip and knees, one straight line. Your knees and toes pointing forward. Reverse your shoulders. And your spine, stay here for two. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, really slowly coming down. All right, so it's slowing down already from here. So from here, we go for a twist. Very simple one. So uh, keep your left knee straight, right knee bend. Uh, bring it close towards your chest, your left, your right thigh. So in your arms up the ceiling. As you exhale, twist right side. So you can bring your, uh, hold your thigh with your right hand. Bring your arm uh, on the outside of your right thigh. Turn your chest away, right hand behind the floor. Make sure both the most are grounded. Stay here for four breath in a twist. Realign your spine. Look side or look across your right shoulder. Spine upright. Keep breathing. Stay here for three more breath. So you can feel your legs already heavy down onto your mat. Last two.
Master inhale, release, coming up. Exhale, straighten your right knee, hands coming down, change in your long spine. Exhale, bend your left knee, sitting tall, inner arms up. Exhale, twist other side. So bring your arm across other side, left hand down, spine upright, look side or look across your left shoulder. Bring your body close towards your left thigh. Stay here for four breath. Realign your spine. Try your best to keep both at the same level, facing to the side. Two more breath. Inhale. Exhale. All right, really slowly. Nice. Okay. And from here, slowly you lower down onto your mat. You can stretch your glutes here. So from here, rally in front, rally behind. And slowly hold on the uh, bottom of your feet on each side. And so you pull your thighs close to the chest. In your supine, komokasana. So lying down, cow face pose. You feel a stretch onto your right glutes. Yeah, so keep your knees in line with each other and try to pull your feet down close towards the ground. So make sure your shoulders are not lifted. So your whole back and up to your sacrum on the floor. Make a few more stretch onto the outer part of right hip. So stay here for four breath. Yeah. Take your time. So try to bring uh, your feet in one straight line. Your feet pull closer towards your shoulder. You can feel more stretch onto your glutes. So your knees are uh, together. Bring your knees together, yeah? Your Gomukasana, but you're in supine position. Stay here for one more breath. Inhale. Next release, chain side, left in front, right behind. Cross at your knees. Okay, then you turn your feet out to side as you pull your feet down towards the ground with the hands. This time, you can feel more stretch onto the outer part of your left hip. Stay here for four breaths. Okay. Last three. Two more breaths. X really slowly. Legs out to the front. You come into Shavasana. So legs apart, hips are more relaxed, and then your shoulders roll out and down. Hands away, facing up the palms. Keep your spine and head straight. Then when you really close your eyes in your Shavasana, breathe slowly and keep it long. Relax your face, relax your shoulders, your arms, all the way down the fingertips, relax. Relax your torso. Relax your hips, your thighs, your legs and your toes. Breathe slowly. Release all tension away from the body and just allow the gravity to hold you down. Observe your breathing.
So you're still aware of surrounding. And you feel very really heavy onto the whole entire body. Slowly inhale awareness into you. Gently move the fingers and toes. Legs together, arms over the head. Inhale, stretch from top to toes. Next release. Okay. Bend your knees to chest. Catch by the elbows and rock side to side. Massage your back. Okay, turn more. Get the full back massage. As you exhale, lean my side, stay there for one breath. As you inhale, coming up to seating. Uh, cross it of a choice, otherwise, Adashidasana. Palms towards your heart. Wrap palms together. And then just palms towards your closed eyes, receive the energy. Rock palms again. And then just palms towards your ears. Receive the energy. Receive the knowledge. One more time, rock palms. And then just palms towards your face, your head, the other head coming down towards your chest, your back, your hips, your thighs, your legs. Back towards your shoulders and pumps your heart. Three closings, three bandhas. Inhale, circle the arms up. As you lift your arms up, lift your chin. Exhale, pumps towards your heart. Thank you for your energy. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Feeling grateful for the practice. One more time, in your up. As you exhale, palms towards your heart. May your practice stay root into your heart. Namaste. Thank you. So, how are you guys? Okay. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can actually type a message for me. If not, let's say cheese. One picture over here. Are you ready?